Welcome friends and thank you for joining me this Monday for a rescue box recap. Today we're going to be going over a mixed jewelry box that I did from Thread Up about three months ago, what I have sold from that box and what my profit or my loss is to date on that box. Um, before we get into that, I hope you guys had a great St. Patrick's Day yesterday that you joined us for the second annual St. Patty's Day crawl. There were 16 of us that went um, and opened fun boxes on our channels. I am doing a giveaway. If you missed that, make sure to go back and watch my video and go through and watch the other content creators and enter for a chance to win a pot of gold. I'm doing a little mystery box. Um, so if you didn't catch that, I will make sure to put it in the description of this video so you can go back and watch all of those videos. It was a ton of fun. And some of us got really great fun boxes. So hope you joined us for that. Today's schedule is going to be a little, not today's schedule, this week's schedule is going to be a little bit different. I normally would have done a fun box on Thread Up Thursday, but because I opened a fun box yesterday, I'm going to do a Thread Up mixed jewelry box on Thursday. Tomorrow, I will be doing a thrift haul for you guys um, of some things that I've picked up at my local thrift. It includes some accessories, a little bit of clothing, shoes, and a lot of jewelry. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for that. All right. So what better time than to go over a mixed jewelry box that I did a few months ago. This box, when I was recapping it, the majority of the box was not great. Okay. Like there were a couple of unsellable pieces that were completely broken. Um, there were unbranded pieces. There was a piece. I didn't even know what it was. Um, but then it was like the second half of the box just came alive and we had some great branded pieces like, um, loft. And then we also got some precious metals like sterling silver, gold, and sapphires. So I'm going to go through, talk about all the items that were in this box and let you know what I did with the item. If I listed it, if it's sold, and then we'll talk about how much money I made or lost on this box. Okay, so let's jump right in. These boxes are supposed to be a curated box. So 15 um, kind of premium pieces uh, that are supposed to be in good condition from ThreadUp. The box is $54 plus shipping plus tax. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive than the DIY box. Um, and you know, so it's supposed to be a little bit more curated or a little bit of a nicer box. What I look for in these boxes, of course, is precious metal, branded pieces, but most of all in resellable condition. Okay. So starting us off in this box, number one was a broken loft necklace. Now, if this necklace would not have been broken, it, it, it was stunning, gorgeous statement necklace. Um, but the main stone right in the middle was missing. Um, I never did reach out to thread up about it. I was going to, because there were two pieces in this box that were unsellable. Um, but I didn't because the box ended up being really good. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe I should have, but I feel like too much time has passed. So anyway, that one went into craft. And so that was a zero. Now I will be putting pictures up on the screen if I don't have a picture of it listed, I took a screenshot from the video. If you'd like to go back and watch that video, I will make sure to link that video above so you can go back and watch it. Okay, the next item that was in the box was a gunmetal kind of corded, large, very heavy necklace. Now, this one was very confusing to me. I feel like some of the cords were twisted. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be braided like that and it had come unbraided, it was not branded. That one also was zero. That went into craft. The next item that was in the box was a stunning Charm and Charlie blue silver tone statement necklace. Had these huge cabochons, almost like a blue cat's eye um, type look and was in excellent condition. That one I never did list. That one I did as like a gift with purchase to one of my subscribers that bought some jewelry. So that went off to them. 
Uh, the next item that was in the box was a gold tone loft necklace, and this had different layers. It's a multi-layer with these different um, kind of hammered discs on it in really good condition. This one I did end up listing. I have it listed for $15. It has not sold yet, and so that one, if anyone is interested in purchasing, I am actually going to be offering you guys half of what I asked for in the video, which is already like half of what I would have listed something for. So if there are any pieces that you'd like to buy, just send me an email to stinaresells at gmail.com and I'm happy to sell to you directly. Um, I'm going to ask $3 for this necklace. So if anyone's interested, let me know. The next item that was in the box was a unbranded blue stretch bracelet. It had, um, they almost look like little evil eyes, which I love, um, evil eye jewelry, but these little discs, gold tone that had a blue enamel in them. It was overall in really good shape, but because it was unbranded, um, I also did that as a gift with purchase and never listed it. So that one is a zero. The next item that was in the box was a pair of gold tone Madewell Huggy Hoops. I love getting Madewell in these boxes because it always tends to do well for me. It was missing one of the backs, um, but that was okay. I just put silicone backs on it um, and that did sell. Those sold on eBay for my full asking price of $20. So I was happy with that sale. The next item that was in the box was by J. Crew, and this was a gorgeous statement bracelet. Um, it had so many of these beautiful, I guess like glass crystals um, in it in different patterns around the bracelet. I don't remember if it was a gold tone or sil silver tone bracelet, um, but it was so nice, really beautiful. One of my subscribers bought that directly from me for $17. I hope you're enjoying it. That was really lovely. The next item that was in the box was also a J. Crew, And this is a double-stranded faux pearl bracelet that has a black ribbon tie on it. It is an excellent shape. Um, ribbon jewelry can be a little tough sometimes if the ribbon is not in good shape, but this looks like it's never been worn before. This I currently have listed in my closet for $25. And so if anyone is interested in purchasing that from me directly, I would do that one for $8. All right, next up, see the box started getting better, right? Next up, we got a Kate Spade new on card, which is a great pair of the um, kind of black glass studs that they're known for. These retail, I believe, for around $30, and I do have those listed in my closet for $20. If anyone is interested in those, I would do those. They're new on the card for $8. The next item that was in the box was also a great one. This was our first like precious metal piece by the brand Eliza, and this was a rice pearl necklace that had a um, 925 like Vermeil um, chain, so like uh, the gold wash over the sterling silver. Gorgeous condition. I love this one. Very dainty. I have it listed in my closet for $35 and I would be willing to sell that to a subscriber for 10 if anyone is interested. Okay. The next item that was in the box was another one that was damaged, was not happy about, was, was going to reach out to thread up about it. And that was an Ann Taylor clamper bracelet. And this one would, if the metal on the inside would have been in good condition, it would have been a great piece to sell. Um, but it was like peeling off to the point where it like kind of cut my finger. So definitely not wearable. Um, I didn't even end up putting that one into craft because it was just kind of dangerous. So that one was a zero. The next item that was in the box was a gold tone peach statement earring. These were unbranded, but in great condition. And so these I also did as a gift with purchase. That's what I do with a lot of my jewelry that I know I'm not going to list. If you guys don't buy it, I'll do it as like gifts with purchase um, for people to enjoy. So anyways, those went out to a subscriber. Um, the next item that was in the box was a long necklace that had a little like kind of like what you would see hanging off a chandelier. Um, 
type crystal that was in a emerald green. Beautiful. The problem with this one is it had a little bit of wear to it. And so I didn't feel comfortable listing that one. Um, that one I wore for a little bit and then I cleaned and I ended up doing that also as a gift with purchase because it was really pretty. And um, I hope someone is enjoying that one. Okay. The next item that was in the box was probably arguably the best if, I mean, it was great. Okay. This was a ring um, in a size seven, I believe. I didn't write that down, but I think it was in a seven. This ended up being 14 karat gold wedding band. And the stones that were in it are diamonds, you guys. I got a wedding band. <laughs> In here, I couldn't believe it. I still have this. I have not listed it. It's got a little like bit of a wave or a dip in it because it goes with another setting. So this one I haven't listed. This My plan for this ring, because um, I did test it, is to take it to a pawn shop. And I probably will end up pawning the ring and then getting the cash for it. Um, I couldn't believe that I got that in this box. So this is why I didn't complain to thread up <laughs> because even though I had two pieces that were unsellable and I definitely have the right to complain because it wasn't what I was promised. Um, they sent me such great pieces in here that I just, I, I, I didn't. So anyways, that one is still a zero because I haven't actually taken it to the pawn shop yet um, to get the money for, but certainly I should get a decent payout for that. Okay, the last item in the box, also a stunner, is a pair of 14 karat gold, I, I can't even believe this, white gold, sapphire, I think sapphire, I don't have a presidium, but I think they're a sapphire stud earrings. I do have them right here. They were in this box, I'll show them to you guys, gorgeous. I decided to keep these for myself. However, you can see they're still on the card. <laughs> I haven't worn them yet. And if you look at them, if you take them off and you look at like the backing and the post, um, it they've never been worn. So I would definitely consider these new in the box. Uh, comping these out, these are selling for around $300 from what I can gather. Um, they do have a marking. Um, aside from the 14K, that looks like a little S. And so I'm not sure exactly who the maker is on this one. I'm still doing research on these. Um, I may or may not keep these. If someone's interested in these, just send me an email. We can talk about price. But um, I haven't sold these yet because I was going to keep them. <laughs> but I'm still doing research in case I decide not to keep them. <laughs> so anyways, these are stunning. And... I thought this box ended up being amazing. It was off to a rough start with that first necklace, um, but ended up being a winner of a box. So when you look at the items that I did sell, um, I ended up grossing a revenue of $37 on this box, which puts me at a loss of $17. However, I have not taken the ring to the pawn shop yet, and I still haven't decided what I'm doing about these earrings. So was this box a winner? Uh, yeah, 100%. So let me know what you guys think. I really hope that the thread up box that I opened on Thursday is as good. So make sure you come back for thread up Thursday and check that out with me. And tomorrow we will be doing the thrift haul where I've got a ton of jewelry, amazing jewelry to show you that I picked up at my local thrift. All right. Bye y'all.